trying to remember, Joey, those results in in Adnan's purple patch last year. He played Mossad, Mus didn't he? That was outrageous from uh, Adnan. The service from Gosal was actually not too bad. You heard the yeah. racket clank. What a finish. On the side wall, it was... Uh, Two game balls for Malaysia. He's done it. That's brilliant from Adnan. Absolutely top notch. What a boost of confidence for the Malaysian. I think that's quite a good tactic as long as you're playing very accurately and tight, which Surf Gosal is. But how did he boast that, Adnan? But he does need an attack as well at some point, Gosal. That's a very attacking volley drive down the forehand wall. Seven. Tight work, he's very good at that shot, just flattening it low on the backhand side, nice and straight. <laughs> Too busy sunbathing. <laughs> the cryotherapy area, just cry. Oh, good finish there from Surab Gosal, so the Indian number one. himself down a little bit where we were talking uh, about this party with you know Surab Gosal does actually leave you quite a bit of a bit of uh, quite a lot of balls to work off of he likes putting balls in places but at times they can be quite high and loose that was a good boast he's worked the boast around well against that. a huge amount of difference in the levels it's just Adnan has the opportunities here and he's just not quite making them count see so Surab Gosal very happy now to move him around and he's got a stroke so a poor game from Adnan really particularly the back end of the third game Huge push and what a terrific position again for Malaysia. Six game balls to take this into a parky prediction fifth. Oh, he wow. deserved it. He really deserved that, Adnan. <laughs> the Komodo has got back into this 58 minutes of the best squash we've seen so far on the glass court in this competition and then the scene is set for a, a wonderful fifth game coming he's not uh, blocked there
Yeah, it's good length. Very good length. Perfect weight of shot there from Surf Gozal. Second bounce in the nick on that back. Shot selection chance, wasn't it, for the drop shot? There's the drop shot. Oh, that Very is unbelievable, tight. though. <laughs> when he does, Parky, when he tightens up and he controls the middle, it, it, as you say, it's as good as most players on the PS. Got it through the interference. It's going to be a stroke. It's going to be a stroke. He gets the stroke. Gosal can't believe it. It's a shame, but I think that has to be a stroke. It's going to be a stroke. It's the first victory for Adnan over Surav Gosal. What a prediction from Parky. Five games, he said. And it's Adnan. What a deserved victory for him. Three games to two in a crucial rubber. Again, a little bit uh, Spanner-esque, that uh, backhand low kill. Lovely shot. Yeah. So again, the two-point lead emerges for the quite relaxed-looking Shafiq. Be careful, though, with the, the minimal contact. He got a no let earlier. Yeah. It's risky. Good pick up. Nice. Oh, nice. This, this, uh, <laughs> this young Malaysian that's uh, got a, a build on him like a badminton player. Great width. Great width there and pace from the young Malaysian. Just doesn't look doesn't look proper. It's not cricket. Actually, makes the players when they do that look a bit silly. Yeah, you can look like a bit of a burk <laughs> when doing it. Um, just to put it bluntly. Uh, but uh, I think the players need to know. You know, it's not uh, no flies on on us or the uh, the referees or India to equalise. So the aggression there from Mangakar managing to equalise. Crucial second game. It's a good dig. Just lost his balance a little bit there, Shafiq. Four. I think that must be slightly related to gently persuade the ref it wasn't a stroke. Wow. I think he actually got both of those, but that's going to be a stroke. Yeah, some good shots going in from uh, Manga Cars. Less pressure on him now. Going to be a stroke. So Shafiq stamps his foot. He's obviously struggling. Yeah, it's all one pace, isn't it? Yeah. Pretty much. He's, uh, Shafiq's definitely got uh, more variation in his game. 
Barely move now, can he? No, it's a shame. You can see that he can't lunge properly. Had to. It's a bit like my my movements <laughs> into the uh, front <laughs> corner these days. <laughs> There's the finish. Well, he couldn't get off court quick enough there. So 54 minutes, sadly, for Malaysia. Shafiq obviously struggling with a uh, problem with his body. A uh, 3-1 victory for India now levels it up with a match to go. Can't have been uh, physically. It was only about 25 minutes. And out five two. Hearing me. Three game balls in a very important first. So a nightmare for the Indian number two. The back end of that first game. Uh, asked about the pickup, front left. Right side, four, three. Looked like a, sl a slight three. nick, yeah, four, just got three. his racket under it. Haven't seen uh, either player that much for the, for the last couple of years, although I did see Arinda briefly in his uh, first match in Hong Kong. Ooh, nice shot. Very aggressive volley there from Arinda. Strange you didn't look to volley that one. Yeah, maybe it was a little bit higher than what than we could see from uh, so here. Sandu. Well, that camera's going all over the Takes the second game. That's nice movement, very nice movement. He read that one. A little flick from Harinda, but yeah, was equal to it. Perfectly weighted volley here. Look at the balance. Hits that backhand well, Harinda. It really He's follows through. Got the aggressive stance. Head out. Certainly looks like he wants it more. And he is aggressive on that T line. Won't let Yao get in front of him. Scuttling around behind. Really pressing on the T. This is a very tidy squash from Sandu. Amazing recovery from Yao. Oh my goodness, oh wow. what a rally. What a rally. Oh, oh wow. A terrific rally, Sandu on Fuego. 
<laughs> Painting it around the court. Well, I was talking about shot selection. That's one of the few times that Harinda has made the a poor shot selection and he's well, another good spell here from Yao in response moving to 6-3 <laughs> it's becoming a, a humdinger puck but if Sandu were to get this point it'd be interesting to see how the, uh, the nerves of Yao cope he's got it he's got the kill and there's a fist pump and a bit of aggression two games apiece obvious This is where Houdini can start making his attempt at the score. And he's getting into that mode again. Oh, he's lost his footing. That's so unlucky because I could sense that Harry Zuse was going into Houdini mode, but he was starting to get that. Uh, Oh, he's done it, it's fresh air hit. There's the celebration by Yao. Sure, Pete Jennifer will pick him up and give him a big friendly bear hug. Because that's the type of character Pete Jennifer is. 63 minutes of squash, and it's Yao that overcomes Harry Pinder. Sandu, three games to two.